Um ex-treinador do Mike Tyson disse, o Mike só teve cinco lutas na vida e perdeu as cinco. Vamos aprender inglês, meu povo. Who was your greatest? Because I had Tyson too there. You know, he, was, he became one of them. And um, I remember it was funny because when I would put it down, like I said, everyone lied about their experience, but, you know, they lied about everything. But I would put down, a, you know, the, the age and everything else, all the stuff for what it was worth. You had to have something to, to try to believe in, right? And then figure it out from there. So... Tyson, when I first had him, he was 190 pounds, nothing but muscle, 12 years old. Okay, that's what he was. <laughs> but that's what he was. I mean, that's what God made right. him. That's so, crazy. So I go down there and I put the first fight. Nobody's seen Tyson. Nobody's ever seen Tyson. But 12 years old, zero fights. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Now you go too far. You lie more than us. <laughs> you you learn a lot from us. You lie better than us. I said thanks. That's a compliment. <laughs> I said I think Nelson. That's a compliment. I mean, I take it. I guess it is. Right. All right. I'm not lying. Twelve years I'm old. I'm not lying. Hundred and ninety pounds. Teddy, please, please, please. Nelson, I'm not lying, ok? He's 12 years old. He's gonna be 13 ah, soon. Fala pra vocês que tem coisa na internet. Que tenta enganar a gente. Fica esperto. Fica esperto com essas propagandas. Não vai cair no conto do vigário, hein? Pelo amor de Deus. But he's technically he's 12 years old, ok? Ah, oh, come on. I said, all right, I'll make you feel better. I'll put down 17. Thank you. Now you tell the truth. I say he's not 17. <laughs> <laughs> But I knew what I had. Uh, you know, like right. I said, I knew what I had. So I fought a 17-year-old. I wasn't going to fight no 12-year-old. That wasn't going to happen. Right. And plus, I get arrested for murder. So, um, well, what was he like at 12 uh, years old? Physically, mentally weak, but physically... What, what do I mean mentally weak? Not weak for the average guy, but, but for a fighter, um, he still have remnants. He still had residual stuff from his upbringing. Listen, you want to know the truth about the guy? I mean, he, he orders, but he used to hide in between abandoned building walls in Brownsville. It was a rough place, no doubt about it. Didn't have a father, whatever, the mother, whatever. And, uh, He he used to hide between walls to not get picked on. And I believe when you do that, you never get outside of that wall to a certain extent. You're always hiding in that wall for the rest of your life. That's just my belief. That, uh, Teddy, what are you talking about? He became heavyweight champ. Some people think he's the greatest. Some people... I don't have his record in front of me, and this is going to blow some people crazy, but what are you going to do? I don't have his record. Let's just say we're going to make an arbitrary number because your man's going to pull it up. But let's just say it's 50 and 6. All right, we'll, we'll say 5. 50 and 5, but whatever. I think his record... Isso é, pra quem não tá entendendo, isso é retrospecto, tá? 50 vitórias, 5 derrotas. It's truly, if you're going to be this, and we're not truly in life with anything, but if we're truly, truly in an absolute world, which we don't live in, But I would say he's 0-5. All right, now everybody's, everyone who's listening to you think it's just like, let me get what Teddy's drinking. Like, I don't see him drinking nothing, but he probably had some before he came in. To me, a fight is not a fight into this resistance, to this something to overcome. Something to overcome. Over, que é algo a superar, né? Fala. Pra mim, uma luta não é uma luta se não houver algo a ser superado. Algo a superar, né? Alguma coisa que você tem que superar. Superar, overcome. Então, to overcome something é superar algo. Ó, vou voltar aqui pra vocês ouvirem, ó. A fight is not a fight into this resistance. To there's something to overcome. To there's something to overcome. De novo. A fight is not a fight into this resistance. To there's something to overcome. Pra quem possa estar tá estranhando aí, ele tem um sotaque nova iorquino, que é meio... É, parece um pouco com o pessoal de Boston também, eu acho. Tem umas diferenças, mas lembra um pouco. 
meio italianão, assim, sabe? É um, é bem, é um tipo com um sotaque é, de Nova York, para quem é, nasceu ali em Nova York ou na, na região. Something to overcome. Otherwise, it's just an athletic venture. It's an exhibition. I think life is that. I think that you don't know if a lawyer is a lawyer into, into there's something to overcome in the courtroom. Something goes wrong, okay? I, I, I know he's a lawyer. I know he went to school. Ó, oh, você vê o sotaque, né? Something goes wrong, ele falou. Come in the courtroom. Something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. É, something goes wrong. Ele fala, é meio embolado, né? Ó, oh, vou voltar aqui. Oh, the lawyer is a lawyer into, into there's something to overcome in the courtroom. Something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. Percebe que tem essa... Então ele carrega isso pra todo tudo que ele tá falando, porque esse é o sotaque dele. Pra você... Pra quem não tá acostumado aí, começar, você começa a mapear como que eles falam e a partir desse momento você começa a entender melhor. É claro que isso não acontece num vídeo de... Esse vídeo aqui tem 14, 15 minutos. Isso acontece com o tempo, mas é pra você ficar mais antenado e começar a reparar no padrão que ele usa na pronúncia das palavras, tá? Ok? Ok? I, I, I know he's a lawyer. I know he went to school. I get it. Nobody has to tell me that. But he ain't a lawyer. He, he ain't that. Until everything goes wrong, the judge throws all his crap out, <laughs> and, and he's, he is effed, so to speak. And, and he figures, and he still handles it. Then he's a lawyer. A doctor's not a doctor until he opens up this kid, a kid, just like he's got at home. And arteries are bleeding all over the place, and and it, it, it it's not in the textbook. It's not in the freaking textbook. And he got to do it. He got to figure it out. And he got then he's a doctor. Then he... Pogou, né? Pogou. O médico ele deu uma empolgada, né? Deu uma leve empolgada. O médico tem que, né? Não dá para não improvisa, né, gente? Vamos combinar, né? O médico não dá para improvisar na, no meio da cirurgia, né? Pelo amor de Deus. Mas entendi, eu entendi o que ele quis dizer. Then he's a surgeon at that level. You, you're not. You are not in a fight. I, I look. I, I admit it. I equate life to a fight. I do. You're not in a fight. And so there's pressure, resistance, overcoming something. Otherwise, it's just an exhibition. Tyson's talent was so great. His physical ability, his talent was so overwhelming. Just like somebody's intellect. To some body's charisma, whatever, beauty, until it came to something else. But his talent was so superior that the other stuff never got tested. He was blowing guys out, and he, it never got tested if there was anything in the warehouse, so to speak. If there was anything inside. You never knew. And then five times, whatever the real record is, five times there was resistance. Cartel, ele traduziu como cartel, ele é o retrospecto dele. Né? Ele chama de record, que é o, o passado ali. Qual é o seu record? Né? Qual é o seu passado? Qual é o seu histórico de vitórias, derrotas, esse tipo de coisa? Né? Eles traduzem como cartel. Ó, Five vou voltar times, aqui. Ó. Whatever the real record is. Whatever the real record is, ele fala, né? Ele fala isso aqui, ó. Whatever the real record is. Seja lá qual for o, o, o histórico real dele. Whatever the real record is. É isso aqui que ele fala. And then five times, whatever the real record is, five times there was resistance. Five times it became a real fight. Five times there was something to overcome. And he failed all five times. He was only in five fights in his life. And he's all in five. I'm sorry. Sour grapes, because we know my history with him, right? Am I... Am I Am, am I capable of that? Yeah, I'm human, yeah. But I can honestly tell you that I, 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 tr I'm, I try to be better than that. That, that I've, I've called many fights where the people in the corner, I couldn't stand them. I had no respect for them. But if they, if they did a good job in the corner, if their fighter did a job, I t talked about them like they were Ray Arcel, like they were Angelo Dundee, because that's what it was supposed to be. That's all. And it's selfish because I don't want, I want to have, I want to know and I want my kids to know that I can be better than that. That, that it's, it's about 
Mm-hmm. It's about the code of, of the profession. It's, a, it's about you. It's about you believing that what you say is, should be honest. It should be what you believe. It shouldn't be tainted or, or, or influenced by lesser things. That, that it does represent you. It does represent your family. It does represent where you came from. It does stay. You know, you, you blurt it out for those five minutes or maybe two hours on ESPN. But it stays. Someone can go back to it. You could go back to it. How do you feel about it? It does mean something. It really does. It, it, and so I'm only saying it because I would say it about somebody else. In the way that I calibrate things, the way that I evaluate things, that I don't think that you know crap about somebody until they're tested. You don't know if they're your friend. You don't know if they're a good wife. You don't know if they're a good girlfriend. You don't know crap. You think you do, but until they're really tested, you don't really know. And Tyson, when he got tested, when he had to overcome something, when, when he didn't run them over like, like one of those big monster trucks running over a Volkswagen, because he was a monster truck with Volkswagens. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. And was he one of the greatest punchers of all time? Yeah, yes. Could he punch from either side of the plate like Mickey Mantle, the greatest switch hitter? Was he that in body? Yes. He could punch evenly, great with either hand from either side. Was he all those things? Yes. Was he as great an intimidator as Sonny Liston? Yes. Was he a great finisher like Joe Lewis to a certain extent? Yes. But he wasn't a great fighter. Because great fighters, when the fight came to them, they found a way to do what they had to do. He found a way to disappear. They found a way to show up. Yeah, show up. He found a way to go and not show up. And look, you could go talk to psychiatrists and you could go through all the reasons why. The hiding between a wall. When he was a kid. Yeah, that, that, that's part of it. I'll tell you another part of it. To be that, not to be the power puncher, not to be the aggressor, not to be just those things, to be the titan, to be the viking, to be the samurai, to be the warrior, to be those things, it has to be inside you. You have to believe it. You know, a lot of times people lie in life. There's a certain place you can't lie. You know, sometimes we say that the ring is the chamber of truth. You know, it sounds good and all that, but it, 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 it is. Because just, just like in other places in life, too, when the moment comes for those kind of serious things, you have to feel like that. You say that you're the conqueror, you're Alexander the Great, you're all those things, right? Okay, words, sounds great. Makes good sound bites. Probably bring more people to the TV. But when the moment comes and you didn't intimidate the guy, that didn't work. Okay? We all try it to a certain extent, right? Probably. Yeah. I'm sure you've looked at guys certain ways when you were younger. And and you purposely looked at them in a way to invoke a certain kind of action, a, a, a certain kind of result from them. Just Just looking at them in a real serious way that you hoped that it weakened them. Yeah, and but because I know your background, you were prepared to do what came after that. But some people aren't. Some people aren't. And Tyson wasn't. As great as he was, I just said it. He's great, guys, that hate me for saying your hero or whatever your favorite guy was. He's great. Just not great in, in this area. And when that moment comes... You have to, that's where the truth matters. You have to believe that you're really that guy. And if you're a guy that, hey, listen, he was convicted, so I think it's fair, that raped somebody, okay? Now, listen, I wasn't in that room, and I don't know. A lot of people don't think, okay, but he was convicted. or But I know enough people in the business that there was a lot of other bad things that he did that are just not things that that you would probably want to hang around with somebody if, you know, if you're a halfway decent human being 
that he did that were weak things, okay? Weak things. So when you do weak things and you know you did those, and I don't know what, but I'm just saying, you do weak things and you know they were weak things and now you got to do a strong thing. How do you become strong when you know that you did those weak things and you know that's really you and you got a guy across way from you named Levander Holyfield that doesn't give a shit about how hard you punch, doesn't give a crap about what a finisher you are, doesn't give a crap about how fast you put your punches together. He wants to find out. You're going to have to make him a believer by doing it and doing it in a difficult place because he's going to make it difficult. Because he ain't going to cooperate. When that happens, you got to feel like that person. And when you don't feel like that person, you got a problem. And that's what happened. It wasn't a matter when he bit his ear. It wasn't a matter that he was hungry and he was a savage and he was from the street. Stop the crap. It was a way to get out. Because he knew he wasn't that guy. And when you're not that guy, guess what? You have a great talent off. Recognize when somebody is. Yeah. That's your greatest talent. You can recognize when somebody is. And he recognized that Evander Holyfield was. And that was his way to get out. And he did. So that's why, again, it's not sour grapes. It's really not. Because I'm more selfish than that. I really do care about... What, what my reputation is and whether or not it, I've been honest about things I say. It doesn't mean I'm right, but it means I believe it. I do care about that. I do. And so it's not that. It doesn't mean I'm right, but it means I have a reason to believe I'm right from the way I've lived, from what I've seen, what I've experienced in the business, the human condition, how strong it can be and how weak it can be. And um, he was as strong a guy as you're ever going to see, but he was as weak a person as you're ever going to find. That's intense. But I see what you're saying in terms of you are judging it by the highest standards possible. You're judging it in yeah. comparison to other champions. You're judging it, you're, you're, you're What else are you going to judge it with, Joe? Yes, you know? of course. Se esse conteúdo te ajudou, deixa o seu like, se inscreva no canal, porque assim você me ajuda bastante, tá bom? Vejo vocês no próximo vídeo, um abraço. Ah.